migration is not negative. Climate change can lead to migration, but this can be a choice for people, and it can lead to a better life if it's planned well ahead. Migration can be um, uh, taken as adaptation uh, strategy, uh, of course. Take the example of a displaced person. After being displaced, they are to adapt with whatever they are left with. And since it is a question of survival, so they are left with the choice of um, uh, migrating uh, internally or internationally. Papua New Guinea is made up of many islands and with the effects of climate change and sinking islands and rising sea level and salinization is a problem. I, I've seen uh, relocation or moving from one place, right, in, like moving from coastal areas to the uh, inland areas or the mountainous areas as a way of adaptation or way of adapting to uh, climate change. People have often thought about the relationship between climate change and environment forcing people to move. But in fact, what I was trying to do in my module was to get people to think about the rather different components of the relationship, particularly about how people can get trapped by environmental change and become unable to, to move. Secondly, how migration is very important for providing remittances which make people safer against the effects of climate and environmental change. And thirdly, an important aspect is that many people have moved and are moving from rural areas to urban areas, and those urban areas, particularly in Asia, are in low-lying coastal locations which are very vulnerable to the future effects of climate change. In the case of the Maldives, uh, migration may be an adaptation strategy we can take uh, for climate change or sea level rise because uh, we have uh, people on 200 islands and uh, we cannot be protecting 200 islands and therefore uh, if we move them to a uh, few, few islands we are able to protect them, we will be able to better manage them and provide better service and more sustainability. The cost will be less and therefore uh, the on, uh, option uh, in the future may be migrating uh, more people to fewer islands. If we look at Vanuatu, uh, it consists of very small islands and people mostly live along the coast. And some of the islands, you know, there it is less than five meters, uh, that that's the highest point in an island or more than that. But, you know, with the population growth that we have, which is more than two percent per annum, then Adaptation or migration can become an adaptation measures that the government of, of Vanuatu can, can resort to. They can move from a smaller island where the impact of, impact of climate change is really, uh, really high, or they can move to a, to a big island like Santo, Portfila, Malekula, other big islands that, you know, population is, really, is not really that high, it's not really densely populated, and people can really relocate to that place and they can enjoy the life. So I think in my view, migration can be an option of adaptation in, in, in relation to climate change, given the relative size of the islands that we have known. Thank you.